to my channel. It's your girl, Alyssa Marie. If you're new here, very special welcome to you. I'm so glad that you're here. We have a vibe over here, so you might as well just go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you like good vibes, good energy, and lots of hair content. Today, I have these four week old braids that I have been dying to take out. I literally meant to take them out last week, and then I had y'all vote on Instagram, and y'all were like, girl, they still look really good. Keep them in but I have reached my limit. I'm ready to bring the curls back, so that is what we're gonna be getting into today. I also figured that it would be a good time to have a little quick chit chat, catch up with each other as I take this hair out, which is probably gonna take me some time. So 12, 13, let's see how long it takes. I think what I'm gonna do, like usually, for some reason I usually do back to front, but I just like something just randomly clicked to me recently that I was like it genuinely makes much more sense to do it from front to back because then you can just tie up your hair as you go instead of having to tie up like the long hair you just tie up your natural hair you know like logically it makes more sense so that's what we're gonna do my last two vlogs you guys would have seen <laughs> it's so crazy to be talking about them right now <laughs> in this way because as of right now they are not even edited yet but by the time this video goes out, both of them should have been posted. So it would have been a really, really late um, New York Fashion Week vlog and then also my birthday vlog. What are y'all thinking about the vlogs? Please let me know in the comments. I would love to hear your feedback. I've been enjoying vlogs. Am I gonna be like a 100% like vlog channel? No, but I like to have vlogs here and there when there are like exciting things happening in my life. I get to show you guys a little bit more BTS. Like when I'm traveling too, I love to do travel vlogs because I can give y'all the tea on like, you know, traveling and doing stuff. So house update. We have a couch that I'm sitting in. I'm so excited about it. I ordered my couch back in June, July, early July. I did not receive my couch until September. I just feel like there's certain things that I'm gonna splurge on and there's certain things that I'm not. So my house, I feel like is gonna end up being like a good mix and match of like really bougie, like nice quality pieces and then also lots of home goods. You know what I mean? Like that is really my vibe for this house. And honestly, I genuinely feel like you don't need to splurge on everything. You just don't need to because you could still have a really nice, expensive looking, cohesive look without having to spend like big money on everything. This is from Crate and Barrel. So their couches are like super customizable and depending on the fabric that you choose and the pieces that you choose, like you can really, really customize it to make it your own and make it work for your own space. And let me tell you something I genuinely feel like this is the best couch ever so this is the lounge couch sectional from Crate and Barrel and for me like yes aesthetic is very important to me but practicality is also important to me as well so I'm not gonna sacrifice practicality for aesthetic I'm just not gonna do it a lot of modern furniture which is the style that I like a lot of modern furniture is not comfy or not like practical to actually use. You're like buying a new house and moving and you're buying furniture for like your new house. Make sure you always tell the furniture stores. Crate and Barrel, West Elm, CB2, they all offer a special 15% off discount for like moving which is really, really nice. Like that really came in handy. The house is slowly coming along. I also got a rug from Ruggable, which is great because it gets dirty every two seconds because of Hershey. If you don't know, Ruggable has washable rugs. You can literally stick them in the washer and clean them really nice and then put them right back. And behind me, as you might see, I've also gotten a dining table, dining chairs, and bar stools for the kitchen. It feels good to really see the house coming together. And I was really excited about the dining table and the chairs actually because that was a partnership with Castle Reese. So that was really, really cool. I know you guys have heard me talk about before how I'm trying to like get outside of the hair box and like personally, I just, I'm wanting to share more about my life than just hair. Like I, I've genuinely started creating content from like through passion of like what's going on in my life. And at the time, obviously it was my whole natural hair journey. That's what was going on in my life. And of course I love hair content. I love hair and I will never stop making like dedicated hair content. Cause that is just, 
I mean, like, we can't, right? I still, I just still obsessed with natural hair, but I wanna add more. I don't wanna just be the natural hair girly. I wanna be a lifestyle content girly where I just share different things. And so right now I feel like I'm going through my homeowner grown woman era. And honestly, I, I love it here. I love it here. So as you guys know, I just turned 29 wild because I still feel very much 18. <laughs> Not really, like I, I know that I've, I've grown and I've changed and I've learned and I've matured and everything, but it's just crazy to think that next year, like this is my last year in my 20s. That is insane. My mom, I remember years ago, when I was like 14, 15, my mom would always tell me, that, you know, we always talk about 30. Like, as, as young people, we're always like, oh, but 30, you know, we're always, always scared to be 30. Um, but there are two things my mom always would tell me. So one, she is always huge on aging gracefully, and I'm really just gonna take that from her and really, do the same. I don't wanna be scared of like, oh my God, I'm 30, I'm getting old. Like, I don't wanna share my age. Like, none of that, no, that's foolishness. And the second thing, she always told me that when you're 30, the way you feel, you just don't care about anything or anyone anymore. Like, you don't care about other people's opinion. You are the most confident in yourself. I feel like with me getting the house and just feeling so grateful every single month, like being able to pay bills here and just feeling so happy and peaceful in this house and, you know, getting to navigate a new, like, side of my creativity in my content. And I have a lot of people in my life that love me. I have a whole online community that rocks with me. And yeah, I'm just really feeling good. I feel like right now, I just feel like I'm in my, I'm in my bag. I'm in a really good place and I think I'm, I'm the happiest and most confident that I have ever felt in my life and it is a good feeling. It is definitely a really, really good feeling. Let me know if any of y'all can relate to this. I know a lot of you guys um, are kind of similar to me, maybe similar in age or maybe even just going through, it doesn't even necessarily have to be this age, but let me know if you guys are experiencing something Similar where you're just you know feeling like you're in you're in a good place in your life Like you're just looking around and feeling really really thankful because that is just I just wake up every day like Thank you God my biggest piece of advice. I would say is if you're trying to get to this place that I'm describing is to just Kind of really get in tune with yourself because your little voice inside your head, she's not a loud voice, okay? The voice that tells you who you are, what you like, what you don't like. Should we do this? Should we do that? Is this a good idea? Is this a bad idea? That voice is very, very quiet. So it takes intention, especially, especially if you're a people pleaser, it takes a lot of intention to really like intention and practice to really listen to that voice and honor yourself honor your true self and start making the decisions that that do that that honor that voice because once you start letting go of oh what is so and so going to think and well, what if so and so doesn't like this and what if so and so doesn't like that and blah 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 like that is so far outside of your control. And again, I still I still have my moments where I'm like, wait a minute. Uh, but I check myself now. I definitely check myself and I'm like, what do, what do I really want here? Okay, boom, that's what we're gonna do. Period, that's it, that's it. It, it. it can really all be that simple. Simplified my natural hair routine to three product wash and goes and I also simplified life and I'm like, look, we're not gonna overthink these things. We're just going to keep it moving. And um, yeah, that's really where I'm at now, y'all. And it just, it feels so good. I'm gonna take this um, Briogeo spray. It's like a leave-in conditioner spray. And I'm just gonna spray like my roots. And then down the length of my hair as well. Just start to add some moisture and 
start to kind of break up some of this product that we got going on in here. Wow, I, I feel like where I'm at also is like finally actually getting back to my pre-pandemic self, which I thought she was dead and gone. I thought she was gone, I thought she didn't exist anymore, but she might be back. For example, Halloween for the last three years before this year has just been me dressing up at home with Hershey and George and just taking pictures for the gram and that's it. This year, your girl's outside, your girl's got plans. So we did do our separate like house photo shoot where um, that's gonna be one of our Instagram costumes. But then I got invited to a Halloween party that was hosted by Pretty Little Thing. Jada was out there, Flo Millie was out there. Um, she performed for us and everything. Like it was a vibe. That party was lit, okay? And we dressed up for that. So that was that's two costumes now. We did um, we did Playboy bunnies. It was super cute, super, super, super cute. So Instagram photos for Halloween. Then I did a Halloween party. And then I'm also gonna go trick-or-treating with Casey and Alan, because it's his first Halloween. So like it just feels really, really good and like refreshing to be like, oh, we have plans again. We're busy. We gotta be outside. Thankful for New York Fashion Week because I kind of went crazy and like just bought a whole bunch of shit, like a bunch of outfits and stuff. I'm grateful for that because now that I have plans to like go outside, like we need to be prepped and ready to go for when we need to be prepped and ready to go. You know what I mean? I was also invited out to one music festival here in Atlanta. Did you go? If you're in Atlanta and you went, let me know because I was there, girl. It was so good. The energy, oh, it was like actually like a black, primarily black festival. It was amazing, amazing. Um, we got to see, let me tell you everyone we saw. Um, Fabulous was out there, Bryson Tiller, T-Pain, Meg Thee Stallion, Janet Jackson, and then Janet Jackson brought out J. Cole as a surprise. What? Y'all know I was screaming. Then the next day, we saw Thames and then Kendrick Lamar. And I'm just saying all that to say, like, just being outside, I didn't realize how much, how much I missed that. This is the very first time, end of 2023, where I'm feeling like, okay, boom. I'm actually feeling back to my pre-pandemic self, which feels really, really good. It just, it really, really filled my cup in like, there's just, there's different things that can fill your cup, right? Like being at home and resting is definitely important. Hugely important, checking in with yourself. For me, there's other things like getting back into my schedule of going to the gym, cooking at home instead of eating out and doing DoorDash and all that. Those are things that fill my cup and I just, I didn't actually realize that connecting with other people like in person and actually like consistently going out and just having fun was like my cup was was dry it was dry for for these last few years <laughs> really and truly hair is completely out is it just me or is my hair look like so much longer that's crazy i actually feel like i'm itching for a cut for sure i want a new style <sighs> typical me just ready to just end it all <laughs> <sighs> feels so good so that's only half of the work we need to do um, it's time to now hop in the shower so we can get this wash and go together Bye. this is how my hair is looking so far I just added water I mean the curls are already popping back into formation, so we love to see it. I want to try this. I just found this in my stash. This is the Fable and Main Holy Roots Hair Mask. It's rich repair for stressed hair. It's a mask. And on the side, it says cruelty-free, vegan formula, no silicones, and it's for all hair types. So here she is. Ooh, and this texture though. So it's like thick. It smells really nice. It has like this natural-ish kind of smell like a it's exactly it smells like a black natural hair product <laughs> like the typical black natural hair product 
little that little sweet scent it's not like overpowering though so like I don't I don't hate it I'm not mad at it here we go I'm just gonna apply this all over section my hair out and then detangle it's already already all, already <laughs> Wow, okay. It feels so good. Uh, it is so cre- We might have just found my new favorite mask. Are you kidding me? This is it. This is big ball of hair that came out. First round of detangling. It's a lot. A lot, but we did have my hair in for four weeks, so it's fine. This mask, by the way, I, mm, I'm obsessed. We found something very, very special here. Okay, I love it. Because I used it as a detangling treatment, I'm gonna go ahead and rinse it out now that we're fully detangled. And then we're gonna go in with a good deep cleanse with our old time, long time friend, the Way Detox Shampoo. We love her. No surprise here, I'm gonna go in with my Don't Despair Repair mask. I just feel like I owe my hair a little extra after this protective style. So of course we're going in now with like a perfect balance of protein repair and moisture. So shampooing not in sections definitely knotted up my hair real big right like right here in the middle slash the front yeah so we had to go through and re-detangle that but we're all good now the don't spare pair mask is sitting in here so i'm gonna go ahead let this sit for a few minutes while i finish up my shower and everything and then we will be back for styling for styling i'm going in with my longtime bestie, the Brio Geo Curl Charisma Gel. I just love this gel so freaking much. I have just been loving volume so, so much lately, and that gives me curl definition, but still allows for insane volume, doesn't weigh my hair down at all, so we love her. I just think it's insane that my hair is past my shoulders, though. The side part might be cute, but I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna do the bangs, which are probably gonna be too long. They do shrink a lot though. Once the gel is in there, they'll probably... That's a lot of shrinkage though. Oh no. Oh no, wait. Wait a second. My bangs have grown like crazy. What? <laughs> I know it will shrink. It's not gonna be all the way down here. It'll probably shrink at least to here. Dang, do I need to cut my bangs again? All right, so it is day four now. <laughs> Usually I will pop back in the next day on day two to show y'all where we're at, but it's actually day four, which is kind of, kind of just lets you know like what's been going on in my life lately. Like I have just been so busy just on the go. Um, but here we are, day four, and I have some things that I need to talk to y'all about. First of all, first of all, first things first. That mask, amazing. Rio Geo Gel, forever amazing. My curls themselves look so good. This is day four hair. I literally have not done anything really to it except for try to fluff it out. Um, but the curls super defined. My hair feels so soft. It looks really nice and shiny. Um, and for day four, I mean, it's giving. It's giving. But clearly, my hair has really done some growing, right? Like it's day four, so we're fully dry. And this is my current, current shape. 
which is actually so crazy because when I went and I dyed my hair in that video that I showed you, that was beginning of September, very beginning of September. It is very beginning of November right now, two months, and my hair is just, I just, I don't understand how, like it just grows so fast. I mean, a good problem to have. So I texted Crystal, I'm gonna go see her tomorrow so we can do a trim. She's not gonna style her or anything. I just needed her to squeeze me in, cut it. It's just looking very shaggy and just like blah. Anyways, I'm saying all that to say that the wash came out great. My curls look great, they feel great and everything, but the shape is really just, not giving for me right now. I think I am a mid-length girly when it comes to hair. I think I enjoy the mid-length because you can really play around with some fun shapes and styles. You still have enough length to kind of play around with other styles and stuff, but you still get to have your shape and it's not just shaggy looking. I hate a shaggy look. But I am proud of like the health of my hair. I was like low-key seeing some girls, like everyone's going like browns and like doing some copper color and I'm like, oh, maybe I should color, but I really am enjoying the health of my hair. It's just, we need to get, and honestly, I like like the dark solid um, color vibe, like natural, it's just black. Um, I just need to get this shape together in a place where I feel good and confident. But yeah, guys, that's supposed to be it for this video. Meet me in the comments. Let me know your thoughts on any of the million things that I said in this video. <laughs> But also, especially, please give me your thoughts on my hair right now. Thank you so much for just continually rocking with me. I really, really love y'all. I feel like my YouTube community just really hits different. And I genuinely miss y'all when I am not being as consistent. But y'all are always, like, just so supportive of me. And I love y'all so much forever. And I promise I'm trying my very best to be as consistent as possible. I love you so much. And if you're new and you made it all the way to the end, you might as well just go ahead and hit that subscribe button, baby. Just join the fam. I'll catch y'all in the next video. Bye!